All right, little update from my side from the old video, which I said rip to Game Maker Studio. So if you well install the newest version, then it becomes a potato machine and nothing is working. So I kind of fixed it in regards kind of. So as you can see, speed is good. So everything is nice and fast as it used to be, but because the runtime is a previous one. So how can you do this? For example, if you did the big mistake like me, so for example, you can just, I don't know, download the newest version of Game Maker Studio like this, or like me went through well, the version, blah, 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 and download. And then um, you have the new baked in, and I guess this is where this comes from, the IDE rendering use, uh, blah, 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 blah. And then it should be better, which it isn't. So once again, five to 10 frames per second isn't acceptable at all. And of course it was running extremely slow, which was a pain. So, um, and I of course ask a few of you guys, if you have issues, the good part is most of you don't have issues. This is good news. And then some people just said like, Hey, just reinstall it. Then it does work. I tried it. This doesn't work for me. So for example, one, one way to go about this, for example, just check your newest drivers, graphics cards, uh, DirectX or for example, uh, Windows updates, this didn't work. And then for example, I also updated uh, Visual Studio, but because sometimes this could be an issue also, by the way, this is one of the issues, which is a little bit of a concern for the future, but this is, uh, well, I guess because the newest updates will at some point be a new standard and then you cannot go back. This is even clearly stated, for example, here, I will go on to that. But how, for example, if you just want to fix this issue, well, you don't download it like this because here you got the new baked in IDE handling. You don't go here, for example, your account, because here you can only download the newest version. This is bad. What you can basically do is just go under older versions, open it up, of course, link in the description below and just download the previous version and then everything runs good. So basically uninstall the newest version because what you can't do, and I tried it, for example, in the newest version, you just go under preferences, uh, runtime feeds, master, and then for example, you just run the previous one. I tried it and at some point it crashed or sometimes it didn't remedy the new thing because I guess the new baked in uh, features are not compatible with previous versions, I guess, because that's why they say this is a big update from their side. So once again, Game Maker Studio running fast as it should be, as it should be, come on, what the hell. And then what you can do is just install it, deinstall the old one, install the new, uh, the old one, and then everything is working uh, good. So one thing, for example, which is a concern, and that's why I say the newest updates will be a thing as a standard, so for example here, extension editor injection in UI changes, so basically, and this is if you, for example, use uh, mobile apps or if you're programming for mobile apps and then for example, you're using Android Studio, then I guess you know, because now rely on passing XML, this is how things are being uh, placed in the room, so very, very quickly, so this is a thing. This is XML is just giving uh, Android apps to say like, hey, what kind of position are you having? And therefore this is kind of a layout thing. It's kind of similar to CSS in, um, well, HTML kind of, but this is very, very, very roughly. So here, once again, this will be a standard. And as you can see with a, here, the older format will be obsolete at some point. So once again, this will be a standard. And the next thing, for example, if you uh, want to uh, export your game, then you will need at some point Visual Studio to, uh, well, 2019. This is of course, you can get it for free, but you need to have it at some point. This was, as far as I know, used more for console exports. Was it consoles? I guess for consoles. And now at some point it will, I guess, just be mandatory uh, for all of them. But here, once again, a little bit wonky, just said many now support. So here, once again, it will be required. Everything is working not happy with the state of things, but of course uh, I can now continue working, which is good from my side because I was yesterday a little bit, uh, I made some really, really angry videos and I deleted them because I didn't want to be too harsh. I completely uh, got blindsided because I didn't use this functionality because I used the official one. So for example, updating during the runtime and everything wasn't working. So here, once again, if this is BS, 
go to the old version like I did and then I guess for the meantime we can wait out until this issue is being correctly fixed from their side. So once again, I don't know what to say. So I was yesterday very, very angry. So hopefully <laughs> you don't see it in a bad way too much because I made some really, really angry videos. And once again, I deleted, deleted it because that was out of place in my opinion. It's not good, but it's not terrible. So once again, I can keep my channel and do my project because I was like, oh no, I cannot do all my project. Everything is a dumpster fire now. It's just a half dumpster fire. So at least it's just burning on half fuel as it seems. It's okay for the meantime. I don't know what it means uh, once they fix it, maybe everything will be okay. And then, well, we see how this runs out. So once again, a little bit of rambling from my side. This is a half happy video from 1UP Indie. Have a good one.